Now, first young lady, we did very, very determined. Come rain, come sun. I must make them. And true to herself, she run them. Today inside studio with me, I get Miss Debbie Okokun. Happy International Youth Day and welcome to People They Talk. I beg. Welcome. See as you look sharp. <laughs> Well done. Thank Tell you us. so much. Thank well you so done. Much Happy International Youth Day. You don't feel yourself as youth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Correct. How about my people who watch you? Just tell us who you be <laughs> and your brand so that we go push you the go. I didn't get that, please. Thank As you I make you introduce yourself, give country people because we they watch you from all over the world. Oh, my name is Debbie Okokon. Mm. I'm the CEO do Havila Aesthetics, a mm. skin clinic based in Abuja. Correct. All right. Yeah. So, so today now we they celebrate International Youth Day. When you be first reason this your skincare products where you been they do as a young woman, we understand, but you go tell us what be the storyline behind your own first click and progressed. Tell us how you take start your journey. So that we too, we go learn one or two from you. Okay, as a Nigerian youth, where I be, yeah, mm. this journey started years ago, about nine years plus now. Mm -hmm. And uh, we started in Port Harcourt. So um, at first, I started as a makeup artist, as work no be day that time. Now we did find work, we will see. So I got the one that waiting I would do, you know, I don't go just stay for house and mm. all of that. So I decided to train as a makeup artist. And then in the course of doing that, now I got discovered, say, I get most one interest for skincare because that time people, they ask me, well, well, say, ah, ah, I've been waiting they use for your skin. Which mm. cream they use? I've been waiting I feel do this or waiting I feel do that one. And then um, because of the question where people be, they ask me, you know, that was what prompted me and, you know, intrigued me into studying about skincare. Mm. And I got discovered, say, I get real passion for the business. So that's why I take start the business. So I started the business in 2013 in Port and uh, we eventually moved down to Abuja and we've been on it till now. Mm. So how technology don't take help you boost your market, your business, your partnership with people and every other thing because the key na click to progress. So how technology don't take help your business and your market to grow? Ah, technology don't help me because that's how I start the business, actually. Uh, you know, say most of us, we get plans and our plans mean they surround around friends. Mm. So the whole idea then was, oh, I'm going to start the business and then friends will be the one to patronize me. Yeah. Uh, but when I can start the business, uh, my eye can't open because I no can see friends. <laughs> no friends oh. to patronize. Okay. So at that time, at that time, I needed to rely on social media. So that time I couldn't post my things for... Facebook, you know, I can open Facebook page, come post, come they try to run one or two sponsor ad, and now some people come they see me, or they try, mm. you know, reach out to the brand and patronize the brand, and so far so good. We've been on it, we've been on social media. Social media has been a great help to the brand in terms of exposure because before person go there, young kid, no say they run business for Nigeria now. They mm. get to see something we go show them. Yeah. And the thing we go show them will be this social media where we do. Mm. You understand? So this social media where we do on top. Now in the show people say, see what it is, see what it is we do here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So now, make we move forward now. Because young people, they will look, you, you are a very popular skincare person for Abuja. And young people, they will they look up Thank to you. you in different ways. So how now, how you feel, take, encourage the people where they use technology. Make them themselves grow in your kind of business as well. So that them too, they're not going to give up on their youth full time. A lot of them don't complain where we say that they try. Government, no, they make them easy. But you now, you'll be one of those successful people where then they hold them down all these years. So you go try and make you talk one or two to them. So them too, if you key into your own success line, click to progress. Okay. And then put technology okay, inside yeah. because all of them get phone. All of them, they use internet. So they feel see how they will also use their tech to take grow too. Yes, okay. So I want to say for every youth where they out, they will want to start business. You mm. understand? Um, first thing now to discover what you get passion for. The way you don't know what you get passion for, you won't go into it. Yes, mm. technology has a lot to play. In terms of um, creating more um, knowledge and awareness for yourself, because one way or the other, even if you go learn for school, 
even if you go institute, go learn, or you train on that person, okay. you still need to do self-development. And that's when technology comes in right. because that's what you're going to use to train yourself. You mm. understand? So even if you don't learn, learn, learn one or two things and all of that, you still get to go online. They do more research, mm. which is what helps me mm. because in my own line of business, I get to do research. And every day, I did Google, I did this one, I did that one. Mm. And they ask questions. Even on Facebook, yeah. even on Facebook, Facebook gets yeah. some kind yeah, okay. Groups, yeah. do you understand? Where yeah. person the point where we help them. Then after that, you now start posting your content. Um, a lot of youths they do content these days, but I've also seen so many of them get discouraged when it comes like I said their content, you know, they catch fire. You yeah, know, so they especially they do content, nah nah nah. Mm. You're supposed to catch fire. So when you know they catch fire like that, they will come they discourage, you understand? Yeah. So yeah. me, I they try one tell you say you get to stick, you know, you have to face this. Even if they do the content, they put they no catch fire. Eventually, go catch fire one day because in this global world where we did, people shall must open your content mm. and it will speak for mm -hmm. you. You understand? So there's really nothing wrong having a business idea, starting the business, and making use of technology because technology is there to stay. Mm. It will always help us. It's one thing that will push us. Okay. It's one thing that will create awareness for us. Both the young, the old, and the very little children. They shall will see the content. I know one thing with technology. Whatever, whatever you post online, you know, in the next ten years, in the next five years, people will still see it, and it will help them out. Mm. Okay. Yeah. All right, babe. Debbie, before we go, go, I beg them just tell us again. Lastly, what thing you day into so that my people will know one or two things how you will take care of them. And I want to put um our phone line on top um TV just in case anybody gets anything to ask you remember i said we celebrate the youth so whether one or two youths they are there to ask you one or two questions but then just tell us the last thing waiting for your heart inside them um, this story because we will soon let you go make you go do your business <laughs> okay um so for the business like i've been taught before now mm. i did into skincare yeah. yeah so when you tell people say they into skincare they go to say not to rub cream yeah uh, skincare not with the rub cream skincare now how you fit take care of your skin mm. inside and outward make your skin day presentable because as we know the largest organ for our body now is skin but um surprisingly now the parts where we they neglect the most we don't really care about them mm. but now the thing where they protect us and uh, to get skin issues or skin infection, do this multi way go over. Look, do you yeah, understand? Yeah. So it's something you need to, it's something you really need to care for. And then in this business, where we did so, we did to take care of people's skin. Okay. So we did help treat uh, skin problems where people they get. And we did get help to correct it. Maybe people we don't use, you know, one or two things uh, for their body, we don't destroy their body. We are there to correct them. Okay. And furthermore, we are also there to educate people. Okay. So there are a lot of youths that are actually interested in this line of business. And I want to tell them, say, if they get interested, you know, so before this skincare thing, that women, they do them most. Yeah. But business, men don't they join the thing. Mm -hmm. Women, they do them. Mm. So if you're a youth and you're interested in, you know, repairing people's skin, you have passion. When they see people, they use some kind of things. You know, they make you day happy. You want to help them. And all of that. If you're a youth, then what you should do is, and you have interest in the business, you can venture into the business. Okay. Go to a school, get trained, make use of technology, and see how it can help you. And you know, foster whatever you want to do and push it out there. All right. You understand? Okay. So my uh, my advice for you to be saying just make sure you take the right step and do the right thing and you shall surely overcome all right thank you very much madam debs for coming on top people they talk as you don't take your time explain give us we appreciate you very much i believe so when we call you again thank you